The question says draw the cis and trans structures of hexa 2 in. Okay, alkene is given here. It further says which isomer will have higher boiling point and why? Okay, cis and trans are geometrical isomer. Draw the structure and then we identify which has higher boiling point. Okay, hexa 2 in is there. So there are six carbon. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and two in to the second carbon double bond is present. Attach hydrogen to satisfy the valency of carbon CS3. It is H, H, CH2, CH2, and this is CS3. This, this is the compound. Okay. Here we have the double bond, double bond. Okay. So we have C double bond C. Okay. To this hydrogen is attached. So we mention hydrogen. Okay, and then CS3 is also attached to this carbon. We mention CS3 is there. Other side, we have hydrogen also attached to this carbon, and to this carbon, this entire group is also attached. We can mention it is CH2, CH2, and then we have CS3 is there. CS3. So we can see this is the cis form is there because these electron density, the two hydrogens are on the same side. Okay. Now, if I talk about a uh, transform, transform, so we can uh, we we keep these groups so same same side and say this side we can flip it, so we can get the trans structure C double bond C, and we have C S three at the top flipped and hydrogen. This side we have hydrogen again we have C S two C S two and then we have C S three there. This is what we have transform is there transform, okay. Cis and trans form structure is ready, okay. And now we have to compare which one has higher boiling point to determine the uh, boiling point trend. You know we use dipole moment. We have learned higher the dipole moment, higher is the polarity and higher is the boiling point. This is what we have higher the dipole moment, higher is the boiling point. So the molecule which has higher uh, the compound which has higher dipole moment will have higher boiling point. Okay, we can so you can see these are the alkyl groups, and alkyl groups are considered as electron donating group in organic chemistry as a inductive effect. You might have learned right? in organic chemistry. So you can see it is supplying electron density. This is what we have electron density. Okay, in this case it is supplying electron density. This side, this is also alkyl group, but it is supplying more electron density because more number of carbon are there. Okay, if we talk about this one, this group is also supplying electron density. Here we have, and this group is also supplying electron density. Okay, supplying electron density. The if you look at the cis form, you know, so you can see these two arrows, dipole moments are going in one particular direction. They are getting adding up. Okay, they are added up. Okay, they are going this way. They are not straight away coming opposite to each other and cancelling out. Keep in mind, if two arrows. Are coming opposite to each other, then dipole moment will be zero. And if they they are going, they are going away from each other also, so dipole moment will be zero. Okay. And if all the arrows are going like this, some are moving like this at a point, you know, they will start adding up. So magnitude of dipole moment will keep on increasing. Mag magnitude of the charge will also increase. So dipole moment will also increase. Okay. So in this case, you can see arrows are going like this, and they will add up here. So dipole moment is somewhat higher. Dipole moment. Keep in mind uh, here, CS3 donating a small quantity of uh, electron density in comparison to this group, because as the number of carbon atom increase in the alkyl group, their tendency to donate electron density also increases. Okay. So to represent, let me show this a big arrow mark. I can show this arrow. Is much more bigger than this one. Okay, they are coming opposite to each other, but hundred percent cancellation will not be there. Some dipole will be there. Why? Because because you can see this arrow will cancel out this uh, this arrow completely, but still some dipole moment will be left here because it is having a higher density electron density in comparison to this arrow mark. Okay. This dipole moment is much more higher. They are not able to cancel each each other because if I take the same group here also, so 
the length of the arrow will be same dipole moment will be same so they will cancel out each other 100 percent since these groups are different so there is a variation in electron density that's why complete 100 percent cancellation of the dipole moment will not be there some dipole moment will be there so i can say dipole moment in this case higher is there in this case also dipole moment is there but lower dipole moment is there because dipole moment is somewhat to some extent it is cancelling out these arrows are coming opposite to each other okay so higher the dipole moment higher the boiling point cis form will have higher boiling point because it has higher dipole moment higher polarity is there it will have less boiling point because in this case dipole moment comparatively is less than cis form if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel